Hello and welcome to the Build with Bear Workshop. My name is Pat Bear. I'm here to build a model kit and to hang out with all of you. And uh, I just want to say right off the bat, welcome and hello. Uh, special shout out to Harold who was hosting the stream. Uh, thank you very much, Harold. If you're a subscriber, you can go to the Bear Cave, the Lego, the Scythe, the Moat, in the chat. Let the people know you're here. I encourage you that if you uh, have ever been on the fence, if you ever thought, you know, one of these days I'm going to use my Twitch coin that I get because uh, I have my Amazon Prime uh, linked with my Twitch and I have Twitch Prime. I'm going to use that. Or, you know, I got five bucks burning a hole in my pocket. I, I, I'll support Pat Bear Stream. I would love that. If you've ever been on the fence of it, now's the time to do it. Your support means the world to me. Uh, I legitimately bought groceries with Twitch money that came in. So you are helping me dramatically. Uh, uh, you know That also could be gifting a sub if you'd like to do that. You could join the, the uh, sub leaderboard. Lastbrook's here. Hi, Lastbrook. Um along with Dirty uh, and uh, uh, Silver Streak, you join that. You could also uh, do bits and coins. It's always appreciated. Uh, but yeah, also, as always, just being here. If you don't want to chat, don't worry about chatting. If you'd like to chat, feel free. If you got questions about the kit we're working on, ask those. If you got questions about other things, you can ask those too. If you're like, Pat, I feel like you were just streaming yesterday. The answer is yes, I was. I did a Hearthstone stream last night. Uh... And then I also streamed on Thursday, and I haven't done three streams in a row in a while, and I haven't done five, this is the fifth stream this week, that's not going to continue. I'll still be doing, uh, generally, I'll probably, it'll probably be a Wednesday, I will still be doing bonus streams, one bonus stream a week, but I'm going to keep to three build streams and one bonus stream. Uh, hello, Mr. Bob, so happy to have you here, my friend, welcome, welcome. Um... But yeah, I'm not going to be doing two bonus streams a week uh, because uh, as much as I have the time to do it, I actually figured something out, which I think is um, uh, I'm not growing in my audience dramatically. So instead, I'm just asking the same people to watch me more a week and I don't want to do that um I am thinking of something I've been brainstorming today part of my day today was brainstorming a thing I can do at the end of the month I thought of it kind of last night I've been brainstorming um so uh we're gonna go to the overhead in a minute but I'll say this for those of you who are early in the stream you'll be the first people to hear this on stream save the date Wednesday March 25th time TBD I'm going to be doing something on the stream that I have never done on a stream before. It will be new, it will be different, and I think it will be very fun. Fingers crossed, I'm still figuring out the details, how to make it work, how to get people involved, but it will be one of the only times on my stream that I've had uh, guests. Of course, they will be online guests, but I'm going to do something that involves more people. A bunch more people if I can. Uh, that's the goal. Is uh, I want to try something a little different. I want to do. I want to tap into the fact that there are people who are uh, on their computers at home, um, and I want to give it time to really flesh out and give people time to confirm. So we'll do that. Um, also, uh, shout out to Mr. Gentleman Jack, uh, who is now following, uh, who followed me a couple hours ago, uh, Jack. It is a pleasure, uh, and welcome to the stream. If you're watching the VOD, or if you're watching later on YouTube, or if you're here, just hanging out in the chat. Um, but yeah, we're going to get building in a moment or two. But yeah, so next Wednesday, I'll be doing a Twitch Sing stream. Following Wednesday, something new uh, that I will announce at some point. Um, yeah, uh, the uh, I'm excited to build. Um, we, uh, we got, I'll, I'll show this kid off a little bit here for folks that, that may have missed the building that we did on Thursday and the little bit we did on Monday. Uh, so this is the, uh, what is it, this guy's, this is the Astaroth, the Astaroth, um, Gundam Astaroth. It is from Iron Blood Orphans manga. That's right. There are character, there are Gundams unique to the manga. They are 
the lore is that there are a certain number of Gundams that were created, and they're all uh, from the Book of the Dead, names from the Book of the Dead. So this is one we hadn't seen, uh, and it's um, originally when I looked at, it, I was like, I think the shoulders are weird, and I still think the shoulders are weird. But now I realize, you know, after looking at it closer, so you, this is what you do with the shoulders. They go like this, and then along with uh, the backpack, basically it allows the kit or the, the suit to glide and, like, kind of fly, um, which is weird. But it's got that chunky, boxy, was this originally meant for combat or was this meant for... Uh, construction vibe that you find in Iron Blood Orphans uh, in its brutalist design, which I really like. Um, and then also, uh, we'll go to the we'll go to the overhead. Let's get to the overhead. Um, reminder that this kit is has a katana or, or a, 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 yeah samurai sword, um, and its sheath or scabbard, I should say, is a hammer and that don't make no sense also a uh, real quick little thing here you can see it's got an anchor point for the sword uh, on the arm as a support mechanism and we'll see that when we would actually put the sword on there i really like that there's so much of this kid i really like uh i'm going to retweet um that we are live uh building has begun um and we'll see if we can get a few more folks uh to pop in uh because I understand, um, in general, a weird thing is happening. Dude wants his rug is here. All right. Hell yeah. Uh, a thing that's happening that everyone kind of assumed in the same way that I was like, well, I guess I should stream more. People that don't stream that often are streaming. People that have never streamed are streaming. I'm seeing a lot more Facebook lives, uh, a lot more Instagram things, uh, uh, more Twitch stuff, YouTube stuff. People are like, oh, I guess I should be streaming. And that's awesome. Uh, I have been asked by numerous people for pro tips as far as, you know, like, hey, stream OBS or OBS? Uh, uh, do I need to capture, do I need a capture card if I want to play stuff on my computer? Uh, just chatting. Does that thing, is there people into that? Are mukbangs still cool? Like, Weird, some weird questions, some great questions of like Google Hangouts or Zoom. Like, do I need debt for that? How, what's like, what's uh, uh, what's that thing where multiple people who have Twitch can like stream together but all on their own channels? Like, yeah, I've I have been uh, what are still are what's to go? Oh, uh, Lashbrook. Uh, the popularized term for videos of you eating, sometimes to excess, sometimes foods that other people can't afford, has been referred to in the Korean word mukbang, because that is the country that popularized that thing. So a, uh, a mukbang is a stream where you eat a lot of food. As I said, often to excess, but sometimes it's social eating. Um, it is... Uh, Again, sometimes uh, foods that are uh, bizarre or different or just not common uh, to your audience. Uh, but yeah, it's a mukbang. Uh, it has been popularized as being in it to excess to a problem. Like, I'm going to eat 100 dumplings, that kind of thing. Instead of, I'm going to eat these super cool dumplings. Five of these super cool dumplings. Um, so yeah, it's taken on because of the internet. But yeah, a mukbang. Uh, I did have someone ask me, are mukbangs still cool? Um, because they were interested in maybe doing a food challenge stream. To which I replied, there's an audience for it. I never thought they were cool at all. Uh, but uh, a friend of mine who I, am at, I think is going to be incredible at it is planning to start streaming next week uh, ASMR stuff. And while ASMR does not work for me, uh, well, watch this. I do not reap immediate benefits of ASMR that other people do. Uh, 
so I don't go out of my way to listen to ASMR content because it it does not give me the 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 tingles. Uh, so I do not uh, engage with it that much. Um, and in fact, a lot of rustling into a microphone bothers the tech side of me to the point where no, thank you, not interested. Uh, um, so, oh yeah, we did the we're working on the legs here. We did the feet. We're working on the legs now. Uh, it's leg day here on the stream. Want to make sure uh, I remember to say that it is indeed leg day. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, she's going to start doing ASMR and I thought that was pretty cool because I think she's got a great voice for it. Uh, but yeah, it's been interesting to see what people are looking to do in this time. But yeah, uh, you know, a Saturday night stream of mine, usually we do okay. I mean, uh, it's still early in the stream, so it could build, but part of that might be the fact that I streamed on Thursday and I streamed on Friday. So adding in a, a fifth stream a week seems pushing it. I mean, even doing the original idea was that I was going to get busy enough. Uh, uh, I originally, yeah, the plan was I was going to be um, busy enough. Hope that I, would, I wouldn't be able to do the bonus stream every single week, but that... That has not been the case. I've been able to do it easily. So, uh, Ben Ulmer, yes, of Loading Ready Run uh, and of uh, uh, the last two improvised postmortems and uh, the first ever live Pat Bears Anime Club uh, tried to do a Nugget Centurion the other day. He only got 43. Yes, I watched the uh, VOD of that um, and uh, it did make me. Uh, yesterday, I went out and bought six chicken nuggets while I was out and uh, consumed those and was happy to do so because Ben made me want to have chicken nuggets. Uh, hey, just so you know, folks, a hundred nuggets is a, is a lot of nuggets. Um, I don't recommend that kind of eating. Uh, I do think that he should have gone for Wendy's uh, chicken nuggets because they are, are, have less breading and are I mean, they are blander. They, I mean, they have, they're just like less of a crispy breading. They're more of a, like, they're just a different texture. Um, and I think you're getting less sodium with those. But still, too much sodium. Also, it's my opinion that if you are going to do a nugget eating challenge, that you should only have water and you shouldn't use dipping sauces. One for the spirit of the challenge, and two, because I think that the sweetness is, and adding in that is actually going to slow you down. Also, uh, I'm I'm of two minds. So the way Ben did this, folks that didn't watch the stream, why I don't, I can't imagine another one did, but but Harold possibly. Uh, so what Ben did was every minute he he would start to eat a nugget. And so then it would reset and then he would have till the next minute and then it was time to eat another nugget. So he was pacing himself, which I think is interesting, but I believe, but in my opinion, has diminishing returns that while it me might mean that you can go longer before you start feeling full, once you feel full, you're done. And you could have consumed more chicken nuggets before you hit that point. So I am of the opinion that it's not about that that pacing yourself later is more important. Like if you want to take five minutes and not eat any chicken nuggets and you want to eat three chicken nuggets in one minute, I think I think that's valid. Uh, that you're going to make up for it. Because it was, uh, the Centurion is 100 nuggets in 100 minutes. So I understand why the idea of pacing yourself for that challenge uh, is, is the way that Ben went. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting thought experiment. Um, I I did not uh, watch it. It was during Loading Ready Run's checkpoint stream. Yes. That's when his chat rated LR and mentioned. Oh, okay, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I always, I, I try to watch Checkpoint live, and I always seem to miss it. It's my own foolishness. Uh, I miss the live ones often. All right, we are continuing to build this kit here. Let's continue to put this together. All right, rock that there. And we are continuing to work on our leg. Um, but yeah, I um, I think I could do more than 46. I don't think I could do 100. I think eventually the sodium intake um, would uh, be too much. And I would not want to do it anymore. But I do think I could do more than that. Uh I mean, I uh, yes, yeah, since they moved it out an hour, uh, it's right when I get home from work. Jam is here. Oh, I didn't even see that. Hi, Jam. Welcome. Happy to have you here, my friend. Thanks for being here on the live stream as we continue working on this kit, uh, the Astaroth uh, Origin. Uh, let's continue to put this thing together. Now, this is 11 here. And got a this is a new piece that I haven't seen before, so I gotta... There we go. Okay, yep, that goes in like that. Great, nice and easy. Uh, we do have a sticker we're about to put on. B1 here. Um, so we will put that sticker on in a moment. Uh, but yeah, I... Um, I mean, you know... I used to... In, you know, 20 years ago... 15 years ago... 10 years ago, maybe... Be able to eat a whole medium two toppings thin crust from Domino's with uh you know like and and a side you know the breadsticks or or cheesy you know whatever the chicken bites whatever no problem uh I when I did it recently when I got Domino's recently I saved half of it uh half of the uh bread for another day and I felt awful so I'm certainly not the uh, fighter I used to be when it comes to food the food fighter all right so we're gonna put this sticker here we're gonna look at where it goes we can line it up uh, there's not a lot there's a, a, a bit of an indent here you can see that I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that now you can't see it there you might be able to yeah you can maybe see it there that there is an intent there for a guiding light of where this sticker is supposed to go. So we'll add that there. Um, Hearthstone stream last night was fun. I had a good time doing that. Thanks for everybody that tuned in for that stream. Uh, we ended up at the end of the stream hitting rank 9. Uh, I think rank eight is the highest I've ever gotten in wild. So happy to hit rank nine. Uh, lost two matches uh, in ranked today. So I stopped. I went to just did a standard where I am like rank 15 and just played some standard games. But uh, I uh, yeah, I, I am going to try by the end of the month um, to hit rank uh, eight because I think that would be a. That would be cool, but if I'm but if rank nine is the highest I did, it's still pretty great, and I'm not feeling bad about it at all. Uh, and it was nice to do it on stream. Uh, as I said, my next stream, my next build stream is gonna be Monday. My next gaming stream will be next Wednesday, and we're gonna go back into Twitch Sing, so we're gonna sing some songs. Um. Harold, I know you do uh, you do uh, dabble into Twitch things. If there is a song that you would like to record uh, sometime next week, you feel like doing that, let me know, and I will find it and duet with you. Uh, no pressure. You do not have to do this. I am simply putting it out there uh, that if you'd like to do that, you're more than welcome to. Uh, hello, Ying Dark. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're working on uh, the Astaroth. It is a Gundam only seen in the manga for uh, Gundam uh, uh, Iron-Blooded Orphans. The, there was a manga, and it's get there. Someone asked me there. It's like, 
wait, is that a mobile suit? Because they didn't recognize it. And I was like, it's from the manga. Uh, this is, I would say, there's there's only there's one kit that's more obscure than this. We built that model kit that is based off of, uh, hey, Pat, uh, I'm grilling then assembling Sonic Mole Scareners. Oh, cool. All right. Okay. Great, Mr. Bob. Enjoy grilling. Um, the most obscure thing. So there was the there was the mobile suit that we made that was based on the Sat Sega Saturn video game that only exists in that Sega Saturn video game. That's a that's a pretty obscure kit, but it was cool. Uh, and then there's the kit that we made that was based off the picture manga. So it was it was photos and stories. So it wasn't a full manga. It was like photos with captions that was in a book about Gundam like a gu like a Gundam or mobile suit book had a thing in it and we built a kit from that and I think those are more obscure than a manga uh the manga suits need 1 100s Mr. Bob I would love to build this in a 1 100 scale uh there are a few out there that I think are great that uh, you know I'm happy to do in high grade but I'd love to make a big hammer like this that isn't just like three pieces uh e 18 great e18 doing it uh, that's this one um but yeah I think I, I would say that the the Gundam that is or the RX yeah the RX 7806 whatever it is the one that is only from a Sega Saturn video game is probably the most obscure kit we've built. Hmm. Sorry, I'm yawning, and I apologize. Um, I did... Uh, if you're talking about Blue Destiny, some of those suits themselves are not obscure. No, this was... um. Uh, the RX from Sega... Saturn. I'm looking this up. Uh, okay, it was a the mobile side story. Yes. Uh, mobile suit. Gundam side story. Sega Saturn Mobile Gundam side story. There was a unique kit. Two unique kits in that. The Blue Destiny. Yeah. Uh, I'm now looking up the one that we use. Yes. Uh, was it 79 G in command? No. I don't remember. I don't remember. Maybe it was that different game. I can't remember. People love Blue Destiny. No, so it's not Blue Destiny, Mr. Bob. But it was something. It was a, It was early on in our career of streaming. So I'm going to... I'm actually just going to go and look in my own archives and see if I can find it there. Because I have my own art, somewhat of an art, of a good archival look. All right. Yes, it was the RX seven eight oh five. Was what felt feels like to me anyway. Feels like a pretty obscure mobile suit. Now maybe I'm wrong. Uh, the RX seven eight five uh, unit. Yeah, G O five. Uh, it is in. Okay, it's in. It's a manga side story. It's in the video game. Mobile Suit Gundam Encounters in Space. Uh, yeah. That feels like a pretty obscure kit. Maybe there's a, maybe we've made more that are more obscure. I do think that one that is only in that, fo that photo book in Japanese magazines, or a Japanese magazine, is pretty obscure too. But whatever. Who knows? We don't need to worry about that. Uh, I went outside today. I, uh, was in need of, uh, some supplies. 
and I made purchases off those supplies. My the, the grocery store I normally go to, I, I did not I avoided that one because the lines have been very long there. So I went to one that is near me, but is a bit more of a walk. Um, but also, it's the it's the uh, store I have to go to to get the Hidden Valley Ranch salad dressing that I like because my local grocery does not carry it. Uh, they do not carry Hidden Valley Ranch. Or if they do, occasionally it is a odd offshoot like Hidden Valley Ranch cucumber flavor or something. It is not the original uh, and that is not what I'm looking for in in my Hidden Valley Ranch purchasing. So I uh, so I went out to go to this store uh, and pick up some stuff. Uh, you know, paper products were certainly low. Uh, there were some. There were definitely not as many as you might assume. Um, bread was running low. Um canned vegetables and frozen vegetables were both low so I stocked up on some more of that um, because I uh, have uh, a vegetable with my my breakfast slash lunch every day uh, not grind styles here hi not grind styles says I can't buy any food I'm sorry to hear that not grind style um yeah uh I, I am very lucky that my neighborhood has a grocery store very close to it and wa and a couple that are pretty close to it as well. There's some uh, fresh uh, produce people. They're having trouble keeping up with stock. Um, the thing people are saying is that if you live in an area that has Asian grocery stores um, because of racism, uh, those stores have stock. Because people are avoiding things. Because some people are garbage. Uh, that's not to say that that's true for every store. Every person. Yada yada. You know. But it seems like uh, there are places where if you want to get produce um, or toilet paper. You can go there. Also bodegas and dollar stores and stuff like that uh, seem to be doing okay. Uh, I have not been to a big box store. I cannot tell you how it is, what it is at Costco or the like, because I do not belong to any of those stores and I do not go to those stores. Uh, my grocery store only had steaks in the meat section. Great news is I have been building up my, uh, own can and water collection for the past two weeks. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, there was my, the grocery store I went to uh, the other day still had a lot of, uh, chicken. Uh, I can tell you about Walmart. It is meh. Okay. Uh, Mr. Bob says I'm not going back to Walmart until it's over. Yeah. I mean, to me, it's like, even if there's stock at a place like that, uh, it is going to be the, you know, uh, it's not the place. It's the people. I feel like you're dealing with a lot of bullshit and a lot of scared dummies at a, at a Walmart that maybe you you don't need to deal with. Okay, so I'm going to get back to talking shit, but let's talk for a second about how this sucks. So this is one of those, uh, I work there in the automotive part uh Uh, yeah, man, humanity, I'm going to, yeah, uh, people can be real bad. I can't imagine. I'm so sorry, but yeah, uh, I can totally believe that people are being garbo right now. All right. So this piece here, it's connected to the, this piece there. It's whatever, but it's gonna, it's supposed to be this color. So they give you a sticker to wrap around the whole thing instead of giving you a piece that slides on top. And I understand it's a high grade and that's what you got to do for a high grade. But also, even if I can understand it, I still don't have to like this annoying method of putting the sticker on. I can still think it's an annoying way to put stickers on kits. 
bending stickers around and putting notches in them is still annoying and I don't like it. All right. Uh, but yeah, I, um, I have got enough, I have enough, uh, stuff right now that I don't expect to, uh, need to go back to the grocery store for, uh, a while. I think I'm pretty well stocked up. I'm, you know, at this point, not in a, uh, I think I'm good between what I have frozen and what I have in the fridge and, and various other things. Uh, I'm still like gonna go outside a little bit every day even if it's just my front steps just to kind of get fresh air walk around I'll probably like walk to a polka stop you know um, I'm there's a webcam that fo that uh, does shots of the park that I often go to and so I might be checking that to see if there are a lot of people or nobody around because maybe I'll go and take a little walk in the park. Uh, I'm going to avoid, sorry, uh, I'm going to avoid public transportation as best I can. Certainly. That's a goal. All right. We got a leg done. We, we got one leg done here. We got to work on the other leg and then the waist. Then we'll continue on from there. Um, as I said, if we finish up this kit tonight, we are going to move on to our next kit, which is bought by an anonymous uh, a benefactor, someone who's requested to not be named. Uh, please enjoy the horrors that is this Pikachu head without other parts on it. Uh, terrifying. Uh, but yeah, we got a Pikachu to build next, and that'll be fun. Uh, I'm just annoyed people aren't being better behaved, but I'm not surprised. Yeah, I mean, like... I'm, I am not surprised. I think people are, are rallying in certain ways. I still think that... Um, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be fun. Uh, I still think that next week, bars will be full of dummies uh, crowded around in the hundreds because people aren't going to let this any old virus stop them from enjoying their uh, St. Patrick's Day. Uh I certainly will be avoiding the subway on that day. I mean, I always try to avoid the subway on St. Patrick's Day because it, because it is amateur hour. And I'm not here for amateur hour. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I believe in herd immunity. I am doing my part, um, doing the best I can. Uh, I can uh, share a personal story if you if you like. Um, my mother uh, had some surgery on her leg. She's fine. It's okay. Everything went well. But uh, she is currently using a bandage uh, um, that like uh, some sort of bandage thing that she needs to apply rubbing alcohol to. And they ran out of rubbing alcohol because they only had so much in their apartment. And all of the stores near them are out of rubbing alcohol. And uh, luckily, a, uh, a couple of my mom's friends who were neighbors were like, I have I have spare. Here you go. She's not using it to like wipe stuff down. She was using it to tend to the bandages that she's putting on her leg. So uh, she was, I believe, rightfully PO'd about that part of the situation about not being able to find it anywhere near her because people have been hoarding it. Uh, Lashbrook says, my grocery store's delivery service is booked up until the 21st. Yeah, Lashbrook, that's not surprising. Uh, it's not, you know, it's a bummer, but it, it, that certainly doesn't surprise me to hear. I uh, can imagine that people are going to be... Uh, Yes, Yin Dark. Uh, uh, as 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 uh, as you say, and also, uh, yeah, uh, as my mom said, people are people are going out of their way to buy hand sanitizer and antibacterial, uh, and are not buying soap because they have it in their head that hand sanitizer will save them. 
Now, do I think you should be using hand sanitizer? Certainly. I certainly do. But also, wash your damn hands. Uh, I put an Instacart order in, but I don't think it's ever going to show up. Yeah, not ground style. I um, I hope it does. Um, I hope this is true because I'm running out of soap. Well, I'm also sorry to hear that, Lashbrook. But yeah, I mean, look, it, having good hygiene is certainly beneficial to everyone. Practicing um, good, clean hygiene practices is beneficial, so I encourage it. I mean, that's, you know, kind of, in my opinion, goes without saying. Uh, maybe this is a good time that the CDC uh, and uh, WHO uh, pages are up to date with the latest updates. Yeah. Um, don't. Use vodka to make your own hand sanitizer. If you uh, if you own vodka that is strong enough to be good hand sanitizer, I believe that you you have a body that can handle things. People were jokingly or seriously, I can't tell because it's the internet. Um. We're like joking about like, well, I've got Tito's vodka, so I can uh, I can read these instructions on the line and make my own hand sanitizer. And then people and then vodka companies had to be like social media people for vodka companies had to be like, please, this is not that is not the right percentage. Please don't do this. Don't use our uh, drink responsibly. Don't make your own hand sanitizer. It won't work the way you want it to. Uh and I feel very bad for them to have to do that. But yeah, they just have to reply to people and be like, hey, I don't know if you're joking or not, but like, don't. Uh, I was looking to see if pets could get infected and the headline Google had said yes, but the page when it loaded said no. Well, Mr. Bob, that sucks ass. I'm sorry. Um, that's garbage town. Uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, you know, uh, my roommate has a dog, but my roommate is currently with, um, his girlfriend, which is cool. They're going to be together and that's rad and good. Um, and as I said last night, it's great because now all the toilet paper I have in the apartment is just for me. Uh, we were stocked up pretty well because here's the thing. My roommate worked from home this week. And suddenly, we were using more toilet paper than we were before. It's almost like having two people be here 24 hours a day means that toilet paper got used more. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Hmm. Sorry. Uh, but yeah. I think it's all working out. Um, folks that are uh, joining us tonight, uh, popping in and out, looking at, you know, looking at Gundam streams, uh, looking at whatever. Thank you uh, for hanging out. Uh, enjoy. If you feel like chatting, feel free to pop into chat conversations. If you feel like just watching, also enjoy that. Uh, I'm just working on legs here and chatting. What's your roommate's opinion of your Twitch channel? Uh... Oh, you zero where you have zero idea where your roommates are as usual. Yeah, uh, I my roommate, you know, uh, so my roommate is also a comedian in New York. That's how we met, uh, and he's also a former employee of the Upright Citizens Brigade. Uh, he worked in the office and the sales team. So he also he's not he's he, he's a gamer. He plays Hearthstone, which is a nice thing that we uh, we we're able to chat about. And he knows about some of the stuff, like he knows about packs, and he knows about uh, Giant Bomb, and he knows some other things that I'm that I'm into. Uh, so it is nice uh, to be able to to have that because he's knowledgeable what I do. Uh, for the most part, uh, he's fine with the streaming, especially since we upgraded our internet. 
uh, uh, the thing he was, he's, the thing he likes least, as far as I can tell, is the amount of model kits I have in the living room. Just boxes of model kits that I have, that I have built or I'm going to build. Uh, and then I did let, for a little while, the pile of Amazon boxes that I hadn't broken down and stored o away got out of hand. <laughs> kind of took over the living room a little bit. So I think that he doesn't love as much. But um, I try to let him know when I'm doing Twitch Sings because obviously my voice carries. Uh, with his bedroom door closed, he doesn't hear me streaming. Um, but... Um, I will say from my perspective, the only thing that sucks is I would say that like he knows that on a Monday at 9 p.m. I'm streaming. So maybe don't take a shower at 8.45 p.m. Maybe your roommate would like to use the bathroom before the stream starts. Maybe. Uh, I would love it if he remembered when I streamed. <laughs> Uh, it's not the biggest problem in the world. The fact that he's cool that I'm very pleased about. Uh, never run into... Uh, we haven't run into an issue with that. Which is cool. Uh, Mr. Bob says, I got back into my... Uh, I don't know. Synergy... I forget how to say that. A real grade. I'm still got all the problems of a real grade. Yeah. Real grades... They are sometimes not fun. And that is uh, frustrating because sometimes they're a lot of fun. But yeah, sometimes they're just just rough to assemble. I, w I will say that the, uh, the, uh, um, the last kit we built before this, uh, the um, uh, um, RE100, it had some moments I didn't love. And I will say this kit, uh, you know, the head, I didn't necessarily appreciate. There were some components there that were a little frustrating. Uh, Yin Dark says, when I stream, it's all qu uh, quiet because my roommates are social people are work. Yeah, uh, I do. Like I said, I do let my roommate know when I'm doing Twitch sings because I am projecting and singing sometimes a little loudly. Um, whereas this is generally pretty conver conversational. And I do, uh, I am, you. I am, making my voice here amplified pretty high in the mix so that I can talk at a pretty consistent volume. Um, also, I've started doing vocal war. Here's a side note. This is not related to my roommate or, or anything. Uh, I'm doing vocal warm-ups now before stream, which I never did because I used to be out. I would be out and, you know, have meetings or auditions or, uh, you know, talking to people, hanging out somewhere, go into things and then coming back and streaming. Now, today I talked to one person for about five minutes. And uh, so I am been doing vocal warm ups before my streams uh, just to kind of, you know, warm everything up. And I also do a lot of vocal warm ups um, before Twitch sing streams because I am singing and uh, sitting down while I sing. I've thought about doing a Twitch sing stream on my feet. Uh, because that is just better for the body, but I don't know if I'm going to ever pull the trigger on that. All right, we got another sticker thing that I'm not going to like to do here, so we'll do that. Um, but yeah, for the most part, if I've been annoying my roommate, he's never spoken of it, so, and, and he's pretty vocal about letting me know when things aren't great, so that's good. Oh. All right. So put this on here. We're now going to attach these armor pieces here. And then we will attach. We'll put the sticker on and then put the rocket on. Uh, I can do voice until I get my good mic. Doing a full Dream Daddy playthrough. Heck yeah. Uh, nice. That's a fun game. It's a good one. Good, good game. Um, if hey, uh, I've said this before, but if people enjoy 
uh, if they really enjoyed Dream Daddy, the Dream Daddy comic is more Dream Daddy with incredible art, including art by a friend of mine, DJ. And I recommend it very highly. Um, but all, all of all these stories are really good. Uh, so if you like, and I believe you can get it digitally through Steam, I'm 99% sure uh, that that offer still applies. But yeah, if you uh, if you like Dream Daddy and you want more Dream Daddy, that is a great way to get more Dream Daddy is to get the comics. Uh, and uh, everybody that did uh, cover art uh, um, for the Dream Daddy comics, uh, at the very least, all the cover art, some not all interiors, but all the cover arts uh, are all queer folks. Uh Oni went out of their way to make that happen, which rules. Uh, DJ out here doing so much lately. Yep. Uh, DJ and Danny making it happen, making making their dreams come true, getting it done. Uh, very proud. Very happy to see Danny at uh, at FlameCon last year. Or not Danny. Uh, yeah, to see Danny and, uh, and DJ at FlameCon. No, I saw DJ at FlameCon, and I saw Danny at New York Comic Con, because we hadn't met in person up until New York Comic Con. So that was rad to see him and finally say hi. But yeah. Uh, full house? Not ground style. I do not know what you mean. Oh, DJ. So no, I am not talking about DJ Tanner. Uh, or... Uh, oh, oh uh, yes. Uh, no, uh... I know, right? No, um, uh, DJ Kirkland and, uh, uh, oh shit, Danny's last name, Dan, Daniel, uh, why am I blanking? Daniel Barnes, Danny Barnes, um, are the writer and artist, uh, for a bunch of things. Most probably well known is a, uh, a graphic novel series they did called Black Mage. It is the story of the first a uh, wizarding student uh, of color at a predominantly white wizarding school. At that point, only white wizarding school. And then the black wizard shows up, the black mage. Uh, it also fe features Ghost Harriet Tubman, and it fucking rules. It's uh, the art. There, there's um, DJ's anime inspiration shines in the book. Uh, and there's love in it, uh, that puts so much heart into it, uh, and it fucking rules. You're going to sign up for Blue Apron. This might be a, you know, that, that's maybe not a bad idea. Maybe a good time to sign up for that stuff. Uh, not ground style. Um, I do want to say this. Fuller House is not worth your time. But there is a joke in Fuller House that is so good, I'm surprised it happened. So one of the plot lines of the show is that Stephanie Tanner has become a DJ and she goes by DJ Tanner. And that is a really fucking good joke. That is a joke. I'm surprised that people didn't go like, no one's going to get that. Our audience isn't going to understand the subtlety of that joke. It's very good. It is too good for that show. Oh, I love that. I love that idea that like, well, I'm a DJ. What should I call myself? My sister's name. It's fucking so funny. Uh, but in general, it's uh, not a great... Not, not great. Uh, all right. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. All right. Leg, our legs are done. We have now built both legs here. Got to pop that in there. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. Both legs done. Ready for the waist, I assume, is the next thing it will build. It is. Oh, they give us a little color on this one. Okay, sure. Got the We got the legs. We got the backpack, which is also the, like, flight booster. But it's got rockets in it, so it is, it's a rocket backpack. But let's build the waist next. Got to do that next. Got to do that next. Okay. Da, 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 da. Waste. 
A, 37. Great. Um, I have been do. I, I have lived a. I've done the, uh, the salad life for quite some time in my attempts to slim down a bit. Uh, and tonight I just did. I it was still healthy, but um, there was a good amount of frozen cauliflower in the grocer, so I got some ca cauliflower, and I made a cauliflower mash, which is, you know. It's mashed potato consistent like uh, it's not by any means perfect, but it here, here's the real thing. It's warm, it's solid and it's heavy. Uh, and that is that is a tech texturally. It's what I wanted. Uh, so I made. Uh, yeah, so I made like a I basically made a. Cal uh, cauliflower chicken pot pie, basically, because uh, I used the, that or shepherd's pie, more like a shepherd's pie, I guess. Um, and it was very good, and I really enjoyed it. It is, uh, but having yeah, I just wanted like a hot dinner instead of salad, which you know will be my dinner tomorrow and won't be a won't be a big deal but you know people got to do what they got to do we got to survive here we're all figuring it out uh in a moment or two we will take a pause for the cause and if you're if you're new to the stream you don't know what that is especially in a couple minutes i'm going to talk about ways you can support the stream if you're so inclined i'll give you some links to things you can watch if you also would like to watch some things that i've made uh i think i only have one thing that i'll list in that um i got a new video going up uh well you know monday i'll have a, the latest episode of pat bear's anime club where i talk about switcheroos uh, the bait and switch where a series you thought a series was in one genre and turns out it wasn't that was a lie they were lying to you the whole time and then it's actually about this thing uh, talking about that uh, and then I'll go out to my patreon my five dollar my ten dollar patrons will see that video tomorrow because that's how I do it um, all my YouTube videos, uh, my Patreon gets a uh, $5, $10 level, gets a day early, and then they get the archives of my streams as soon as I can upload it and get it up and get an HD version out. So it's usually, uh, yeah, same day for streams instead of the next day like everybody else. And then they um, uh, they get like videos like Pat Bear's Anime Club and Bearing the List and anything else I make or like... Uh, the videos I shoot about kits when they got bought on my wish list, my mailbag videos, they all get those a day early. Uh, as a thank you. It also keeps me on a timeline because I always need to have them done. Like I did Pat Bear's Anime Club yesterday um, so that I knew I would be done so I didn't have to worry about it uh, and then have to rush to get it, to get it out there. <laughs> Although I have occasionally done... When I was doing... Um, I got busy for a little bit when I was doing um, uh, um, uh, background of characters and I had to shoot one and then send it to Patreon like the day before. And I was like, oh, oh I got to get this done. All right. Uh, waste is almost done here. So we're, we're getting ready to do that. Um, but I'll just pop these out here and then we'll. We'll get ready to assemble our waste. Oof. Harder. Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. But yeah. Trying to keep video content up. I, I still want to shoot. I think I'm going to shoot it next week. I still want to shoot a video um, where I look at the... Uh, the mechas that I made, the Gundam, uh, sorry, the Dragon Ball mecha uh, miniatures, uh, since I put together all of them, including the bonus one, I, I've wanted to do a video just showing all of them at once. Uh, I'm still going to do that as like a, a building bonus. That is, that's definitely 
Cause that, well, maybe I could do it on stream. I could do it on stream, but I, th I was thinking that might be a, U a good YouTube video to make. I don't know. Um, all right. So now's the pause for the cause. First and foremost, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll get through these as quickly as I can, and then we'll get back to building and continuing assembly. But, you know, this is the thing where I stop. This is the ad break, right? If I had a sponsor, this is where I would talk about the sponsorship. But I don't have that. But I do have people who are subscribers. If you're currently a subscriber, you can throw the Bear Cave, the Lego, the Scythe if you're a Tier 2. Thank you very much. Let the people know that you're a subscriber, and this is one of the benefits you get from doing that. Uh, and thank you very much for your continued support. It means the world to me. Um, if you would like uh, to become a subscriber, you can use Cash Money. Uh, you can also use, uh, you can link your Twitch Prime to your, with, with Amazon Prime. You get that token. You can use that. Uh, and a reminder that if your subscription's up, please consider renewing. And hit that notification button when you renew so that we all can say thank you for renewing your subscription. Uh, we get that fun pop-up using Streamlabs. It's neat. Uh, but thank you for your support. It does mean a lot to me. Uh, and thanks for being here. Uh, I will try to go through these things very quickly. Um, as I mentioned, I do have a Patreon. And if you'd like to join the Patreon, uh, I'll put the link here in chat. Also, all the links I'm going to be putting in chat are in the show description of this YouTube video when it goes up uh, on YouTube. But I have a Patreon. Consider giving $1, $5, $3, $5, $10. you got options. Uh, it goes a long way. And uh, my cut from Patreon is better than my cut from Twitch. But either is fine or neither. Also, I have donations. Uh, I Buying model kits is a thing that I have to constantly do. If you would like to help with that, you can buy. Uh, uh, you can donate this way. You can just be like, Here, here's some money, and they'll go to me buying kits and equipment. You're under no obligation to do that. But yeah, I have some options for, for donations if you're so interested in doing so. It would help me out. Um, this kit was bought off my Amazon wish list. If you would like to buy something on my wish list, I'll put the link right here. I haven't updated it in a little bit, but, uh, you know, there's various things in there, wonderful kits uh, from my wish list that you could purchase if you're so inclined. So as low as fifteen dollars. Um, some have uh, uh, prime shipping. Uh, you know, if you want to buy something in the kit, it'll jump the queue, and I'll build it next. Um, uh, yeah, a few things are on sale. They have dropped in price some. Uh, the ice cream truck is down to sixteen bucks. That's a Lego set that would be fun to build. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a few things that have, uh, that are, are, are dropped in price. Uh, a lot of Lego seems to be a little bit cheaper right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, you buy it, I build it. That's, that's how it works. Um, ooh, the, uh, the Gunner Zaku Warrior from Gundam Sea Destiny is down to 41. That's, that is a good price for that, uh, Master Grade. Uh, I might just have to get that. I gotta check my. I gotta check my uh, my money accounts. But yeah, you buy a kit, I build it. That's how that works. You're under no obligation to do so. But if you'd like to, please do. Uh, I also, you could buy a gift card from USA Gundam Store. USA Gundam Store would love it if you bought a gift card from them and then sent me the code so I could buy something. Uh, they would just love it. They are sending me emails every day about stuff. The 15% off pre-orders and back orders. For the next couple of days. Um, let's see. I have a Discord. You can join my Discord. If you want. You don't have to. I'm not making you. But if you want to join my Discord. Join my Discord. It's nice. Uh, people post stuff they're working on. I post photos after every build stream. Uh, people promote themselves. And their streams that they're doing. Which is nice. Um, uh, the only YouTube video. Bearing List. This week I ranked... A uh, bearing list is where I uh, use um, Tier Maker to rank things and tell what tier they belong in. Uh, and I ranked uh, the gimmicks of members of the Wyatt family during their run as the Wyatt family and after the Wyatt family in WWE. And I have to be specific because people are like, oh, well, you didn't talk about this or you didn't talk about that or, well, what do you think about It's like, I'm, I was specific. Uh, I did a, the next week's one. Keep your eyes peeled for next week. It's about Gundam Wing. Hell yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's the only video I want to put in there. I'm about to drink some water. 
I encourage you, if you got a beverage, maybe get into that beverage, maybe stretch, use this time to to kind of, you know, like whatever, even in one position for too long, maybe it's time to relax a little bit, get back into feeling okay about model kit building. Ah, that's good water. All right, so I'm going to continue building this kit. We're going to work on the, the waist here, and then we're going to assemble the body, and then work on the backpack, and then the weapons, and we got ourselves a game plan. And in the meantime, let's talk about some new anime, because there's still anime. There's still anime. The season's running out. The first show I'm about to talk about did end its season. Uh, uh, it is at hit episode 12. Uh, there's still more Inspector. I actually don't know what Inspector. I, I wonder what episode. That was episode 10. Yeah, so there's still more episodes. Actually, I'm going to look that up. How many episodes there are Inspector. Uh, if they've said, if it's 12. Uh, premiered. 12 episodes. Okay. You never know these days. So I'm going to talk about these three shows. Science Fellow in Love has had its last episode. And uh, I'm rewatching Dr. Stone right now because it's like comfort food. Yeah. Not ground style. I think a couple episodes are like emotionally like good and investing and like a bit to, you know, but overall it's a very uh, chill, fun show. Uh, and it is, yeah, I could see that being a good comfort show. So, Science Fell in Love left us with, the last episode, the manga, the former member, the washed-up scientist, who is a manga writer, uh, creator, had caused some drama in order to get reactions that she could draw. Uh, it, that was revealed in this episode. And then, they made up. And it happened, y'all. The perfect, optimal kiss happened. They kissed, and it was cool. And then they argued, and it was like who they are. Uh, he wasn't mad that she broke his gift. He wasn't mad that she was irrationally mad at him. He was mad that her apology outline uh, was used poor um, science, scientific research, and was too opinion-based, which is very true of the characters and their general disposition and interest. And in the end... They're now thinking about the next kiss, and it's going to be a thing, and uh, it was cute and fun. Overall, I like the show. It's not the funniest uh, romantic comedy show. Uh, I would have liked a little more time with the minor characters, and I mentioned the, the, the character who was adding drama to the mix, who was added, you know, who appeared late in the series... Uh, I dislike shows that lean on that convention. The let's add a character in episode 9 or 10 to shake up things right before the end. Uh, now, I think it ended up eventually working out okay for um, for some shows where you get the second season right away um, and that character is added to the show. But I feel like this character, it was just there to be mildly annoying and stir up a little bit of bullshit, but like not enough. It was ineffective, so I don't know. Overall, I would recommend uh, Science Fell in Love, so I tried to prove it. It's on Crunchyroll. Um, it is overall, I think, a fun romantic comedy show that I'm happy I watched. So we'll say that. Uh, Inspector. Again, I say this every time I talk about Inspector. I like this show. It is not the show I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot more action adventure and a lot less deductive reasoning and, and mystery solving and lying. Um, I did not expect the antagonist that we have in the show. I like it. I didn't expect, I expected the dude that get we get introduced to that has magical, incredible abilities to be more in the forefront, but he is 
definitely not in the forefront as much as other characters. Um, it's kind of funny at times, which I didn't expect it to be at all, which is which is uh, surprising and nice. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think it's like, uh, it's been pretty good. I'm excited to see how they get out of it. The fact that there's two more episodes left lead me to believe that like we've got episode 11 figuring shit out into episode 12, the final twist and figure things out. And then the fallout of that. And I am interested in the fallout and the reasoning behind this story. But yeah, I didn't expect the story to be the, the, this arc to be most of this season, almost the exclusively this season was introduce the characters, introduce the premise, explore the characters a bit, introduce the major conflict attempt to solve the major conflict. Uh, uh, yeah, I was surprised. I thought it would be more Monster of the Week. Uh, maybe like two episode arcs, not a big story. Um, but I do think that uh, Inspector is pretty good. So I would recommend it. Uh, oh man, I only have three shows to talk about. That's, that's what happens at the end of a season like this, right? Like Inspector is going to carry us over into April, which is great. And My Hero Academia is going to continue. Um, but I'm definitely going to have to like pick some shows. Also, hey, I don't mind saying this is just a rough time to like run out of stuff to watch. Like this is just like a weird time. Uh, I've been saying that I'm going to start picking up some, uh, some shows that I didn't watch this season. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to consider doing that picking up at least one thing that i haven't watched all right our last sticker it's a bendy i don't love that um yeah before i go into comfort uh, as not grind style referenced um before i start watching flying witch again or something which there's always a possibility i'll watch flying witch again because i love it um i have been considering just trying a, sh a show i haven't watched or watch my comfort action uh, and watch uh, a regular at Magic School again. I've also thought about going back and watching all of World Trigger because apparently there's going to be another... I'm going to look up more about that. I believe uh, World Trigger is getting more anime. So yeah, Season 2 got a teaser. Uh... Uh, yeah, they got it got confirmed. Or or season three, depending on how you count. Blah blah blah. Um. Yeah, I didn't watch it when it first came out, but I did watch it eventually. And it's like a lot of episodes, and I'm excited to check it out. Um. Oh, Solf just subscribed. Uh, thank you so much. That's 11 months at tier one. Thank you so much, Solf. Let's hear it, the, uh, the old bear cave emote, Lego the scythe emote. And thanks, Sol, for renewing their subscription and being here almost a year. Thank you so much, Sol, for your continued support. It does mean a lot to me. Uh, all right, then we got to put the sticker on here. All right. But yeah, thank you very much, Sol. Um, uh, yeah, um, I've got a few anime shows that I'm like, okay, what, what, uh, let me ask y'all, uh, we'll talk about my hero in a minute or two, uh, actually, you know what, we'll talk about my hero and then we'll jump back to this, let's just get my hero out of the way, very good fighting in this one, gentle criminal, uh, excellent fights, uh, Deku not giving up, we found out what Le we found out La Brava's power and also her backstory, uh, her quote unquote tragic backstory, because I had someone describe it as a tragic backstory. And I was like, so she was a high school misfit that liked a dude. And then when the dude that she liked made fun of her, she became a social outcast and he wanted to be a hero and he wasn't good enough to be a hero. So he became a villain because reality sucks and he needs to tell people. Gentle Criminal's motivation is to like 
let people know that because his life didn't turn out great or exactly how he wanted it, it sucks for other people. Like, people need to know that, I guess. That life sucks. And it's like, okay. LeBra- LeBrava's uh, power that she can uh, power people up uh, and make them stronger if she loves them and then professes her love is an interesting power, especially for a sycophant like LaBrava, where, you know, she can fall in love with someone and, and their ideals pretty easily, uh, which may, you know, codependency and all that. It's, it's an interesting quirk. Her quirk has an interesting quirk to it. All right, we're body complete on this thing. Uh, this backpack, oh, this thing does not want to stay on great. It's a high grade. What are you going to do? But yeah, so before I build the weapons, we'll show this off here. So you can see uh, we got, um, you know, the kind of very skeletal look to this, you know, this demon character. Uh, and then this happens. And then let's see. This happens. Oops. But yeah, uh, overall, it was a good episode of My Hero Academia. Deku uh, using his abilities, uh, not giving up, using his opponent's weakness or, you know, strengths, finding weakness in it. Uh, you know, kind of trying to appeal, saying like, hey, I want to be a hero to lighten people and to, and to do good works and to, to fulfill my dream, which I didn't believe was possible and I had almost given up on. Uh, and to put a smile on a girl's face who doesn't know how to smile, which is a really small, small thing, but to him means a lot. And it looks like they're going to get to do it, and that's pretty great. Um, all right, so... So this is the, this is the flight mode. Uh, I think if this was a 1-100 scale, high grade or master grade, this would look way cooler as the head falls off. I think as a 144 scale high grade, this kit leaves a lot to be desired, uh, particularly in keeping the dang headgear on. But if you're looking for an inexpensive mobile suit that, has, that looks kind of neat, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I also wish that the legs, like obviously it's, it's different. It's not the same kind of demonic thing. It still has the chest part that's demonic, but I do think that it uh, lacks a little bit. It's a little lacking. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll pop these in, down, and now let's uh, let's build the weapons. It's time to do some weapons. But yeah, uh, I'm I'm excited for next week's my hero for the dancing and all that to see if it works and people are into it. Uh, I assume Deku makes it back in time and uh, we'll see if Eri Chen uh, smiles. And uh, yeah, my hero can All right. So as we, as we continue on with this kit and we're going to move on to putting the weapons together, let's put the weapons together. Uh, I have a question for you watching right now. You, you, you. My question to you is, do you have, what's your comfort anime or television show? If it's not anime, what's your, uh, what's your go-to? I've watched this a dozen times, a thousand times. I'm going to watch it again. It's go time for the thing I watch all the time. Uh, mine is, uh, 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 normally it's giant bomb stuff. Says so not grind style. Heck yeah. Um, Ryan and Alex's uh, 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 epic yarn is uh, is a go-to of mine. Um, Star Trek Next Generation, that's excellent. Great. That's real good. But yeah, I have a few Giant Bomb videos that I go back to now and again. Uh, some of the Happy Hour stuff, is, some of the tested segments from Happy Hour are go-tos of mine. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I totally get that. Uh, and uh, let's see. All right. Oh, we gotta build. We gotta build our shotgun here. Um, this uh, lately it's been LR for me. Yeah. Uh, some of the uh, uh, I have a 
you know, I linked to a playlist of the stream highlights from Loading Ready Run, and that's kind of fun. Oh, and I was saying that lately what I've been doing is going back and watching the, the last couple uh, archives of the um, uh, the Loading Ready Run um, Tabletop Day, uh, World Tabletop Day, and watching those archives has been pretty entertaining. Um, the Marvel movies are also really good. They're just dumb fun. Yeah. As far as anime goes, uh, my go-tos are, um, uh, um, what was I? Oh yeah. My go-tos are, uh, flying witch laid back camp is a new addition to, as a go-to. I think that's an excellent go-to. Um, but yeah, it's usually like, uh, um, slice of life. I really like going back to slice of life. Although Isekai, once you've, the isekai where nothing fucking happens are also pretty good to go back to, I found. Like, um, uh, whatchamacalls it, what is it called? I know the name of it. It's escaping you. Oh, um, fucking, uh, um, Merlin's grandchild is a good dumb one to go back to, um, in another world with my, with my smartphone is a good dumb one to go back to where nothing really bad happens and no one's ever worried and there's no antagonist in the entire series somehow. Because uh, every character they introduce as possibly being the antagonist is not. Okay, so here's how these weapons work. So we've got our sword here, right? Our sword goes in here and then it it's scabbard, it's sheath, is now a hammer. And so a hammer is now a weapon. Then we've got a shotgun. And then if we want to, we can put this here with this. And then like that. And then we can have these live on the, on the on the belt there, which I really like. Uh and then these rest yeah on the on the side piece here. So I, I do like that. I like this a lot. I think this connecting like this is really cool. It looks neat. Um, oops. But we can leave that. We'll, we'll take that off and put it back on in a second. We can leave this. We can take this off here. So we'll leave the gun uh, on the on the side here. And we will... Uh, attach the sword and the hammer uh, because I love the idea of a shotgun as a weapon. I love the idea of a hammer as a weapon. Uh, I think these are both great nonsense things to be in a mobile suit. Uh, we got to attach the hand here. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that Isekai can be a pretty good, uh, the lighter Isekai uh, can be great. Um, today's menu at Emiya House, which is the um, slice of life short series that is in the Fate Stay Night universe that use or Fate the Fates universe I'd say that uses Fates characters but puts them in just cooking situations where nothing bad happens and no one is that mad is pretty great. Um, I'm a I am a pretty big fan of that series because it's just about fun people eating food and 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 a nice time. Uh, and as I've, as I've said, some of those characters I know do not have nice times in their lives. So being able to do that is pretty great. And then we'll put this here. And we'll put this like this. All right. Yeah, so our, our friend has a big hammer. Also, it has this thing so it could hold the, the hammer in its other hand if it wanted to. But I like... Oh, maybe I do like that. So this is how it holds. Oop. Is this thing just fucking falls apart? Might want to use some tack if you if you pick up this kit and you want to display it. You might need to tack some pieces in because uh, they don't really hold too well. But yeah, it's got its big hammer. But you can have it have its big hammer and then have the other hand hold the hammer like this. Which is a weird way to hold it, but you can do that. Doesn't want to. But. Yeah, this thing just. Um, this wasn't a bad build. 
I just don't know if I recommend this kit in general because it is kind of falling apart. It, it doesn't really want to... Uh, it feels like you wouldn't want to put this on a shelf because I think the wind would take it apart. But if you wanted to spend the time to really um, uh, baby it and really like tack in some stuff or glue some stuff together you could put together a very solid uh, version of this kit and enjoy it. But I would not necessarily recommend it. There are high there are high grades out there that are of much sturdier quality that aren't going to fall apart on you all the dang time where you feel like you have to be have to be very careful with it. So I would say maybe those are a better bet than this kit. Although the hammer is, is totally awesome, and I love it so much. All right, I'm going to take some photos of this. Uh, I just ordered the Barbados Masquerade. Hell yeah, not grind style. That kit rules. That was, I mean, look, it's March. That was the best build we've done all year. That kit uh, was awesome. All right, so I'm going to take this photo here. Yeah, done. And then we can take this off here, there, take this off. Just getting this ready to put in its box so that someday it will go out to somebody. And here we go. That is that kit. Now we will move on. We got to build them all. Pokemon. We're going to build a Pikachu. We're building a motherfucking Pikachu. And of course, we will continue on. If this, I don't expect this to take a half hour or more. I expect it to take more than a half hour. So we will move on. Uh, we will uh, continue on on Monday. And then uh, I'm going to put a poll out tomorrow to my $10 patrons. And they will decide what I work on next. I have a Lego set, and I have uh, a mobile suit, and I have, or, uh, yeah, uh, yes, I have a, I have a Gundam, I have a Lego set, and I have the Super Saiyan uh, Gogeta from New York Comic Con. Still haven't built that, or Anime NYC, we put that up. So, uh, instructions. These are not, you know. There's not a lot. This is a, a, a you know one of those kits that's like not that many pieces. We're talking two sheets and a couple stickers. This is not super involved. We might finish up today, but I think we'll just get through most of it. Um, uh, oh, one thing I did want to say about this kit. Let's look at this. This is a 2011 kit, but look at the ash that we've got here. That's Sun and Moon Ash. This is a 2011 kit. This is a re-release. If you look up uh, the this Pikachu and the number, which I can't remember, the, the 19. If you look up like Pokemon Model Kit 19, you will see this box art with different at with a different Ash on it. So they re-released it as if it's a, a newer kit. It's not, and there's no Ash in it. So they just upgraded the box art, which more power to them. I still bought it, having not bought it in 2011. So good on them. They win. But also, fuck you. Making me think this is a new kit that I got to get. I don't got to get this. I don't, Look, I don't have to catch them all. I'm choosing to catch this one. Got to catch this one. Pokemon. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so we look at this. We look at the lines they want me to put on here. Figure out where this wants to go. We're sliding in eyes for our Pikachu. Our Pikachu has eyes. Black eyes. There it is. Black eyes on our Pikachu. Oh, God. And right, now it's time for our Pikachu to have a mouth. Pikachu has a mouth and it must scream. So we gotta add 
our mouth and cheeks. Our mouth and cheeks. Our Pikachu has a mouth and a chi in cheeks. Also, the art you can see here on my left and right is from a different Pikachu kit. Uh, has Pikachu been a Funko Pop? Uh, the reflections on Pikachu's eyes are really important. Yeah. Um, there, there are eye stickers that we are going to put on. Um, that go in, in the top corner. So we are going to put white stickers for the eyes, as you can see in the photo. This reference photo is like a different version of the Pikachu. I didn't even realize that when I used that reference photo. So I apologize for that. Uh, I, I, I can do that in that grind style. I can leave the stickers off until until we get farther. I might, yeah. Uh, so let me just find it. Pikachu model, Pikachu model kit. Yeah, we're, we got this other one with the mouth open. That's the one we have. Uh, I picked the wrong photo. Yeah, this is the photo I, I wanted. Sorry that I used the wrong reference photo. Oh, that photo is a webum. That's not going to help me. This is what I want. Yeah, I found the one I want. Nope, that's a web P. Get out of here. That's an angry Pikachu. I don't have that one. There it is. We'll just save this art. Let's do like this. Desktop. Okay. I'm just going to add some art in here for a second. Browse. Just. Uh, there we go. This is the art of what it's supposed to look like. Let's do that. Cover you up. Copy. Paste duplicate. Booyah! That's that's better. It's, it's not right, but whatever. But yeah, we'll, this is what it's going to look like. From a different ver box or whatever. Or, but yeah. Um, we can wait on the... Yeah, it 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 it, do, it is asking us to wait. We're not. We haven't applied stickers yet. I mean, when do we pull this? It uh, looks like we don't apply the stickers until the very end of the kit. Yeah, the last thing we're gonna do is we are gonna put the nose on, because uh, the nose sticker we're gonna put the uh, tongue sticker on, and we're gonna put the eye stickers on, which is all of the stickers. Those go on later. So right now we're moving on to step two. Um. So we'll do step two. Ooh, step two and three. Step two and three. Ooh, they're involved. All right. Uh, sometimes I, I, you know, I, I like the, I, I've liked the model kits we've done that have been Pokemon uh, that are like the three or four. I think those are kind of fun. Like you do the three evolutions, all the evolutions of of a Pokemon. I think those have been pretty neat. I've enjoyed doing that. Uh, and also, like, this is going to be pretty mindless. It's going to be pretty easy to put together. As I said, there's a couple stickers, and I want to try to get those right because they are face stickers, and so I would like to get those right. But, like, I'm not super worried about this kit and, like, messing it up and finding something weird about it. Uh, I, think, I think we'll be okay. I am excited about, you know, the the rest of this kit and, uh, you know, in the future and all that. Um, trying to think if there's any other uh, anime or shows that are my, uh, my go-to. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, we were talking about that. A lot of the kits that I, I um, not kits, uh, a lot of the streams I watch. Oh, I do, I do go back and just watch random episodes of Cruising the Cut. Cruising the Cut is a, uh, a British gentleman who lives on uh, the canals in uh, Great Britain and just makes YouTube videos about his trips and, and going all over the place. And it is pretty dang soothing. And I do recommend it. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, we are definitely going to finish this kit today. Um, because... 
it is very easy to assemble. I was like, oh, well, this'll, this'll, we might have to wrap this up on, uh, Monday, but nope. Monday is starting a new kit. I can just tell. Uh, I don't think it's going to show up. I'm going to try to show this off on the webcam. Uh, I'm, I'll try on this webcam because th this one's not going to show anything. Uh, can you see that all of the numbers... Yeah, you can't really see it. All of the numbers uh, for a, you know A and A1 and A2, um, every number has a... It's a Pikachu around it. Uh, that's just... Yeah, my webcam is not going to define that well enough. It's not going to focus well enough. Uh, you can't see it, but just know that that, that is a, it's a nice little touch that you can't, you know, you have to really look at to see, and I appreciate it, even if I can't really describe it well. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty great kit. Let's say right off the bat. Pretty, pretty great. And I am excited about uh, about the next kits that we'll be working on because we do have stuff coming out in the future. And I am excited about uh, about those kits. Um, uh, and as always, if you want to buy something off my wish list, then the, I that jumps in uh, and when I put the in a, you know it'll jump ahead of the other stuff I'm working on. If I'm working on a kit, I don't stop because something comes from my wish list. It just becomes the next thing I build. Uh, gosh, Pikachu. All right. Um, now we gotta we got to build Pikachu's ears. I guess we'll build Pikachu's... Give Pikachu some ears. Um, uh, but yeah, I am, I am excited about uh, other stuff like... At certain point, I just I want to build that Dragon Ball kit because I bought it last year, and it's just been it's been waiting, and it just never wins polls, and I'm hoping it wins this next one. Uh, but I follow the will of the people that give me ten dollars a month. So if they're like, no, build this other kit, build this Gundam Build Fighters high grade that. I've never seen before and have no knowledge about. If they're like, build that, then I will. And I'll be happy about it. But So, we'll see. We'll see what the next thing is that I'm on the docket for building. I'm trying to show you this here. Working on Pikachu's ears here. And then that goes... Like that. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Doesn't want to go in. There it is. Yeah. That didn't... Didn't want to go in smoothly, but it did go in. And now we'll do the other ear. Uh, try to think. Yeah. So next week, as I said, Monday build stream, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern is always Wednesday. Uh, I will be doing a Twitch sing stream. You're more than welcome to hang out for that. That'll be fun. Uh, and then Thursday and Saturday build streams, normal time. Following Wednesday, something weird. Wednesday the 25th. Wednesday the 25th, I'm going to do something new, and it'll be different and weird, and involve some planning, and will involve, uh, hopefully, I mean, guess, it'll be bad if it doesn't, because that's the point of the thing I'm trying to accomplish, is a stream that has guests on it. Did I just do, th do one of these wrong? Hmm. Nope, this is right. That goes on like that, yeah. I was gonna I said I plainly stated that this kit wasn't gonna give me any trouble and that was interesting. And then I had trouble getting the ears on. 
And I think I just didn't read the steps properly because that now, yep, I had the ears on backwards. So that was my mistake. Had the ears on backwards. I really goofed that one up. Uh, now the ears are good. And now we can build our Pikachu's tiny little arms. Oh, we finished the whole sheet. Okay. Um, Alright, 15 and 19. Okay, this piece in here. Working on the hands. Uh, folks, have any questions about anything, uh, stuff I've been working on, anything in general, anything you want to chat about? Now's a great time to do that. Um, I will I will have things to talk about on Monday. I will go out of my way to have things to talk about on Monday. But I think also with, with doing a, another stream yesterday, I am like a little low on talking points. Uh, doing an ex, you know, so many, especially because Tuesday was... Tuesday, we just did a Hangout stream. We talked about, like, upcoming anime, which was fun, and I enjoyed doing it, but... Um, yeah, I feel like I don't have anything to say to y'all right now, so... Uh, if you want to use your channel points to ask me a question, or if you just want to ask a question, you don't need channel points to... to, uh, to ask a question. Uh, or if you have channel points and you want to... Uh, Hit the old soundboard thing. Uh, what are your go-to shelf-stable foods? Not ground style. I don't. I don't have a lot of them. Uh, I realize a lot of the stuff that I enjoy eating isn't that shelf-stable. I mean, I have pastas. Um, uh, I I like a, um, a rigatini. Um, uh, I I like a you know a circular pasta more than more than a spaghetti or linguine. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, pasta, I'm always interested in that because sometimes, hey, you got noodles, you got butter, you're good. All, sometimes all you need is, is butter, uh, although I do like a good sauce now and again as well. Um, but, yeah, I, uh, I think that's like a go-to of mine. Um, but uh, I certainly eat a lot of perishable foods, I realize. I don't have a lot of shelf-stable things that I'm going for. It's not really my style. Um, uh, my cooking options are a bit limited right now. I am top of stove only because my oven is broken. I have a microwave and I have um, four burners and I make and a toaster and I make do with that. Uh, I would love to at some point have a stove that works or an oven a completely working oven would be pretty great at some point but right now that is not in the cards uh i do not have a dutch oven no i don't have a dutch oven i don't have a instapot i don't have a toaster oven i've been thinking about getting a toaster oven uh my roommate doesn't here's the thing my roommate doesn't cook at all my roommate cooks eggs and that is the extent of of um of what he does so like he occasionally does pasta but he, most of the time he uh just gets pre uh made foods so it is a uh, it is a thing where it doesn't bother him and then i've kind of worked around it um it's finding things that are either microwave or something i can do on the stovetop uh you can do a lot of stuff on the stovetop. I had a George Foreman back in the day. I never replaced it when it finally died out on me. But I, I use that pretty regularly. All right. It's time for Pikachu to have a tail. <gasps> Pikachu has a tail now. This Pikachu has a tail. And it's not the heart-shaped one. It is the zigzag one. Uh, this Pikachu can move its head. It can move its arms. It, can, it can't move its feet at all. Uh, it kind of move its feet a little bit. 
Uh, and it can move its tail around and its ears. So it's got some move, move, movability. Uh, we are going to put stickers on it, but first I'm going to take a photo of it with that. My apartment building has a shared grill in the pool area, and I'm not sure if I should use it right now. I do not know Knockaround Style. Oh, that is, uh, but, um, I mean, I, I miss grilling. I occasionally will grill at other people's places that have grills, um, I do miss it. So we're going to take this here and we're going to, we are going to take a photo for posterity of this kit without stickers. Get a really scary look at this kit without stickers here. And now we'll take a photo of it. Now we'll put the stickers on. It's reference. Uh, yeah, I do enjoy grilling meats, but uh, I don't really have an opportunity these days to do it used to do it more often. I love it. All right, so we see the line where the sticker is going to go, so we can apply it here. Those black soulless eyes, indeed. Oh, we fucked up our sticker, so we'll... Oops, pop it off. Try again. You know... This kit is is simple, but it doesn't rely on um, stickers. The stickers are just in addition, so I can appreciate that. that. It's not relying on these stickers to make it work. It's better with them, but... All right, then we got to put the nose sticker on here. The nose sticker is... This is kind of bad. We've got to put the nose sticker where the ridge is and then fold it down and around. And that's not great. If you, if you see it from far away, this sticker, this nose sticker looks perfect or looks great. Um, if you get really close, you can see where it is. Oh, you can't see anything in this. You can see where it is a sticker. Like, I don't know. It doesn't look great really close. But in photos, I bet that nose is going to look perfect. And then the last but not least, adding the whites of its eyes. Let's give this Pikachu some eyes. So it feels more like a kit. But yeah, if anybody else got any other questions, now's a great time to ask those as we kind of come in for a landing on this stream. We'll have a brand new kit on Monday. As I said, tomorrow, my $10 patrons are going to vote on that. Also, my $5 and $10 patrons tomorrow are going to get Pet Bears Anime Club a day early because that's how that works. Everyone else can watch that on Monday. Uh, but yeah, if anybody's got anything they want to put in the chat, they want to ask me in the chat, feel free. Uh, I will answer any question I can uh, as we get ready to take a photo of this Pikachu. This Pikachu needs a photo, and we are going to be the ones to take it. I knew this would be a quick build. I did not realize it would be this quick a build. We did it, and then this Pikachu is going to look we're gonna, I'm going to check my reference photo. Ooh, that's scary looking. And now the new photo. Less scary looking. Still a little scary. This is still a little scary. Ah, pika pika. Uh, what laugh out loud comedy should I watch tonight? All right. Uh, a laugh out loud comedy. Dang, you are putting me on the spot, not ground style. Uh, I'm trying to think about. Uh, let's see. Whew, I don't know if Jojo Rabbit is laugh out loud, but it was really good. I think Jojo Rabbit was like awesome. Uh, 
Stuber had its moment, but wasn't particularly great. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm like looking at movies that came out last year, their comedies, and being like, what did I like last year? Uh, yeah, it might be Jojo Rabbit. Because uh, it's just fucking weird. It's, it is it is a weird fucking movie. Uh, yeah, that that's what comes to mind is a is a pretty recent movie um that might be cool uh uh the art of self defense i thought that one uh the art of self defense is uh is a pretty great one uh it is Jesse Eisenberg learning martial arts to defend himself. It is a actually seething takedown of toxic masculinity. Uh, it is pretty good. It's not loud. It is. There are some laugh out loud moments in it. And Jesse Eisenberg does a great job. So the art of self-defense 2019. That's a pretty good weird one. Um, all right. So I'm going to. One second, I'll mute this so that, whoops. Mute this so you don't hear my own stream coming back to me. And then let's see who we are going to invade. Who we got the, uh, I don't know why we would do that. Why would we do that? Welcome into channels. Uh, just chatting. Yeah, we'll go. Uh, uh, we are gonna. We are going to go and uh, in a second. Um, gonna let this ad play. In a second, we are gonna go check out uh, uh, Jimmy Wetzel, uh, who's playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, Jimmy is a very cool streamer who. Was on YouTube for a long time, uh, doing YouTube stuff, doing Twitch stuff. Left it for some personal reasons. Came back like this the end of last year, this year, and is overall just like a solid person. Um, uh, who like I found from him guesting on other streams, uh, and so we we're gonna go uh, give that person a raid. Uh, Rye Bananas is hosting Rye Bananas. Uh, uh, thank you for the host. I'm just wrapping up the stream right now. I'm so sorry. Uh, thank you so much for uh, for for hosting. But yeah, I'm literally just about to raid another uh, stream. Uh, so I apologize. Uh, but thank you. Uh, yeah, we just finished up. Uh, we finished up a kit. Uh, never mind. Yeah, time zones. Yes. Yeah. So the time zone change happened because of uh, daylight savings. Uh, so I'm still doing 9 to 11 p.m., but there is a there is a difference. But we just finished with our Pikachu, so you can check that out. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna raid uh, uh, Jimmy uh, and check out their stream in a moment. Uh, thanks everybody who, who is here. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I'll be back again on Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Working on uh, uh, maybe we'll be doing Gogeta. Maybe we'll be doing this mobile suit looks that is orange and I like the look of it uh I don't know uh there's a Lego set I haven't even put in the system yet I don't know what we're gonna build yet but yeah we're gonna work on another kit soon um if you don't feel like jumping in uh and uh joining the raid you don't have to but if you'd like to feel free and I'll see you in the next build with bear bye bye